After three hours in the air, everyone who didn't have bottled oxygen would have been unconscious. As it approached Athens, Flight 522 was now a ghost plane. Most of the victims, uh, they probably still had heartbeats when the airplane crashed, but almost certainly were in an irre irreversible coma. Hypoxia is no more painful than falling asleep. But for Andreas Prodromo, the flight must have been a nightmare. As the F-16s roared to meet the jet, and with his oxygen running out, he must have known that he too was almost out of time. Yet to the very end, he didn't give up. Prodromo made one last attempt to save the plane. When he returns to the cockpit, the young flight attendant who dreamed of becoming a pilot calls for help. But no one can hear him, probably because the radio was still tuned to Larnaca, the airport on Cyprus where the flight had taken off. Fighting hypoxia and struggling to control an airplane larger than any he had ever flown, Prodromo was in an impossible situation. Even if he could have landed the plane, it was now too late. Flight 522 was out of time and out of fuel. pictures of Andreas in Cyprus, in the cemetery where he and his girlfriend Haris are buried side by side. As his father, my son is in front of me. Wherever I go, he's always there. He left a very big gap. We will never get over it. There are pictures in Greece, too. On the hill north of Athens, where Helios Flight 522...